Just a little quick comment that I'm putting right now on our YouTube chat, which, of course, is powered by First NorCal Credit Union. Thanks to all our friends there. Uh, Willard and Dibs, glad you're with us. So uh, it's uh, Pinoy Mamba on YouTube. Says, uh, boy, if they've got all this cash, how come the Giants don't spend? Is it an ego thing? I can win without spending? Just over here to dispel myths. Do the Giants spend enough? In my opinion, no. No, I would love. In fact, I remember saying to you in the offseason, I demand that the San Francisco Giants are a top 10 payroll. Are they? No. What are they? 11th. So damn close. And if the Correa thing had not been canceled, they would be in the top 10. So um, you may argue that they don't spend enough, but don't say they don't spend. They do. They may not spend the way you like them to spend. I know it doesn't gather uh, your senses and, and make them tingle when they bring in Conforto and Hanniger following all of the stuff that happened with Correa and whatnot, but these are not, these are not nothings. What the Giants have done is they do spend, but they do it within the framework of financial flexibility, which right. I know for a lot of people are two F words. I know. I, I, I hope you understand that it's what the Golden State Warriors just did, too. Big it's abs- time. Absolutely what they did. When they, Finally. When, yeah. When Finally. They brought in Chris Paul. Financial flexibility for a franchise is not a bad thing. It's a bad thing if it's like your only goal. If that's like all you're just keeping that and you're not winning, I'd be right. mad too if they're 49 and 61. They're not. They're 61 and 49. Which is makes it easier to forgive the $45 million worth of not completely wasted contracts, but Di Sclafani and Stripling and Manaya collectively are about $40 million and they are not doing as much as you would hope they would do. I think one of the frustrations among fans is when you look at their payroll, it's not as high as... 2014, 15, 16, 17, or 2018, or 2019 in total dollars. So they're not spending as much as they used to, even though their spending is up from last year, and it's up from the year before and the year before that. It's the highest it's been in four years. It's not as high as it was. What were the years again? That would be 2014. It was at 163. Well, it's higher than that. The Giants uh, right now are higher than 163. I'm looking at uh, baseball reference. They got it at 155.9. So For this year? Yeah, that's what the estimated payroll is. I guess uh, you go to, do you go to Spotrack uh, for baseball? Spotrack right now has got the Giants uh, 2023 total payroll at $187 million. 187 tucked right above the Chicago Cubs and right behind the Atlanta Braves. $187 million this okay. year. Okay. Yeah. So um, I don't know what the spot track numbers would have been in 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 14, they win. And then the payroll for four years is bloated because they start handing out contracts that everybody killed them for. Everybody killed the thank you contracts. How you dare you start paying the Brandons like that? And Hunter Pence looks washed. And even mm, 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 Buster. Yeah. Even Buster looks a little old. Right? So, you know, I, I get it. I get it. This is a, this is the way we react to things in the moment. Um, I do wish that the Giants had landed more big fish. I wish they were in the top 10. They should be yeah. in San Francisco, California. But 11 is not 28. So they don't spend. They're cheap. Well, uh, <laughs> spending more than the Red Sox and the Cubs I mean, they're eleventh, right? There's it's one point two million more than the Cubs. Well, Just, it is more than the Cubs. Spending more than the Cubs, and yeah. they're spending more than the White Sox, and they're spending more than the Red Sox, and they're spending more than the Cardinals. More than the A's too. They're spending more, <laughs> more than Baltimore. They did. They did outdo the A's. More than Baltimore by one hundred and ten million, and yet Baltimore's got a much better record than the Giants. Baltimore do, so. and Tampa, who have done an unbelievable yeah. job of two things. They've got great farm systems, and guess what else they've been doing for a really long time? <laughs> Openers, yeah. quirky things, ways to trick the system, ways to beat the big boys who are throwing massive money and talent at you, and they're getting incredible production. And the Giants Incred- are, the money that they're spending on their pitching is largely being wasted in the way of oh. Di Sclafani and Wood 
and Stripling and Mania. That right there is about fifty million of your hundred and eighty-seven. He's Clefani. And I'm not going to call the other ones a waste. They're throwing a lot of innings right now. Yeah, they're throwing some innings. Yeah. They're not necessarily throwing great innings. Better than they were. Yeah. Yeah, Mania's Lo- ERA is north of five point five. Yeah. Well, that's collective. But, look at. Look, I mean, ERA yeah. is ERA. You are what your baseball card says you are in well, terms of. What he's done this year. Not when you send when him you, out, but but when you send him into a game this weekend, do you feel like you're getting a 5.5 ERA pitcher? No, you're, you're no. feeling you're paying $12.5 million for a guy who got wow. you two outs. Right. But I, who, <laughs> so, I don't care what they spend. If he's getting big outs, get me big outs. You got to save the other night. Like he, th- These guys are pitching better. They're nope. pitching better. They're pitching but better. Sean Manai is not having a $12.5 million year. So you can't That's talk fine. about how they're spending money and then at the same time not be critical about the fact that the money that they're spending, they're not getting as much return on. You can criticize all you want, but the criticism was they don't spend. And and, and every time you spend, you're going to have some sunk cost. You're going to have sure. some misses. Okay, the and Yankees you got sunk cost on all these guys yeah. for next year, too. And the Yankees lead the world in sunk costs through the years. That's what they do. And, I think they're and, number two in payroll yeah. with a 523. Three of the top uh, the top three teams, actually, in overall payroll, according to Spot Track, mm-hmm. they're all out of the playoffs. Yeah. Padres, Yankees, and the Mets. Mets. Yeah. Yeah. Then you get to some playoff teams and well, spending, the Angels yeah, at eight. Spending works. It doesn't guarantee you anything. But, yes, outside of the Orioles and the Rays, where are this year's playoffs coming from? The top half of the spenders. Cincinnati's 24th, sure. and they're right in the mix, but and, and the, the Marlins the are 22nd. Are nine, the Brewers are 19th. Yeah. Yeah, but they're, those teams are, you know, the the, Marlin, or the Brewers and the Reds are playing in a, a weaker division. Yeah. And so one of them's going to end up in the uh, playoffs at least. But, yeah, if you're going to swim with the big boys, yeah, you you, you got you to gotta spend. I don't argue that at all. I, I will say that every time you spend, sometimes it's going to work, sometimes it's not. Um, I, I, I'm just pointing out that for those who, oh, the Giants are cheap, they don't spend. Well, they do. I too would love them to spend more, but they're, they're not, they're not hanging out toward the bottom, uh, by any stretch. Uh, let's take some calls. Willard and Dibbs, glad you're with us. Richie in Queens, New York. Hey, Richie, what are you doing? Hey guys, how are you? What's cooking? You know, I just heard your station. I always call WFN in New York, and I talk about the Giants, and they say, you know, nobody cares about the Giants in in, in New York. But um, so I said, let me try a station, and I called you guys. I listened to you on Odyssey, and a lot of things you said I, I, I totally agree with. You know, um, as far as the team goes, you guys said not a buzz. You know, my brother and I, we watch all the games till 2 in the morning. Um, they've been phenomenal this year. Considering when you look at the team, you kind of shake your head and say, based on what? Do they have 61 wins? Their bullpen has been phenomenal. Rodgers and Duvall are as good as anybody in baseball. And, he, and the lefty uh, Rodgers has stepped up, and Jackson's been good. And you did mention, you know, I always, I'm, I'm kind of a purist. I never like to run over at second. It took me a while to get to get with the bullpen game. But, you know, when Walker starts, what are they, 7-0? and Yep. So if you can get two innings at a walker and an inning or so sometimes with Alexander and have Maniah come in and give you three, or Beck has been tremendous, by the way. Yep. They keep sending him up and down. I wish they leave him alone. But um, And then if Stripling, you know, you talked about him. Yeah, money-wise, guys, I agree. You know, you thought you had five starters. descafani has been terrible. Um, he's not the answer anymore. But the team in general, it's amazing because – you know, when when um, Estrada went out and you looked up the middle, Schmidt, I love him, but he's been horrendous. Schmidt is, has got a lot. He's got to get back to the minus and, and, and get back on track. But when you look at shortstop and Crawford, is still a great clutch hitter. And you got Wisely at second, and you look at offensively, and Wade being, you know, hurt a little bit. And Davis is kind of taking a step back. Bailey's kind of come back to reality. I love him defensively. And then Conforto had his moments. It's amazing, and Tapler should be up top three manager of the year. I like I, I like everything he does. I do. I, I like. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I, hey, hey, Richie. Uh, like, okay, I, I got all kinds of things swirling around in my head on this because I think you just named pretty much the entire roster. Yep. Like, 
You know what you're a representative of? The argument against the East Coast bias. Everything out here in California, we're always like, oh, the people on the East Coast don't watch. And, and maybe they don't have access. But my God, not you. You've seen every minute of every game this year. Yeah, and you know what's funny, too, guys? When they left in 58, I was 11. And I was devastated. Because I thought when the Dodgers left, they'd stay. And I don't know if you remember, but Les Kaida, does that name ring a bell? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know if you guys ever talked. I'm sure you guys know it. But, I mean, he used to give that ticker tape updates. You know, we didn't have National League Baseball for four years when they left. So, yeah, I stayed with him, and my younger brother was, I don't want to bore you with this, my younger brother wanted to be a Yankee fan, and I pounded him for so long. And I felt so bad, he finally became a Giant fan. And all those championships in the 90s with the Yankees, and I kept saying, we're never going to get one. And, well, we got three, 10, 12. Three of them. Oh, it's so sweet. Yeah, Rich. You Thank you so much for calling, Rich. You were, uh, were slightly up against it. Call us anytime and enjoy your dinner out there in New well, York. And, and I know when Richie was like, I don't know if you remember, I was immediately like, I don't, I don't, I don't. I mean, he was talking about 1958, I think. Al-Qaeda. That was amazing. <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, I thought the government took care of that. Al-Qaeda. Anyway. All right. That's uh, ri- a four. <laughs> I'm sorry. He gave me a three. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but, I but he it. gave me a laugh, which I actually care way more about yeah. than the four All fingers the you put up. All the laugh makes it a four minute.